What's scripture, precious? What's scripture, eh? Subscription. You click him, confirm him, enjoy the videos. Hey you guys, what is up to Rumba here? Welcome to our new campaign, Sudraya it is. So in general, you guys have voted for Viking Sea Kings. Uh, that's nice, that's good. I'm uh, actually looking forward to play with them. So if we're gonna do the Sudraya campaign here on YouTube, that means we will start sooner or later. Um, the Dufflin uh, Irish Viking campaign on uh, on the stream so just so you know what it's up there okay uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead uh, this is post patch and um, this uh, yeah and, and the patch has changed a little bit stuff um, and yes it's getting a little bit more um, difficult and a little bit tedious as well just as I feared uh, I've played this a little bit uh, so I kind of know what we are up at even though um, yeah it kind of differs the starts differ very much from each other so certain things happened or uh, other things happened so we cannot really give um, yeah something uh, so this or this will happen and thus we will see where we end up okay let's go into the cultural features from the viking sea kings expedition the world is yours for the taking uh, send your ships to conquer a new land um this is basically uh you earn points if you have 50 points together uh, you're gonna get more or less a quest uh, which is more or less just an event um, yeah and there you have to choose something and uh, it reminds me most of the if you uh, went for a treasure hunting in Total War Warhammer 2 on land so this is uh, what is the what what is that it can be good can be can be bad um, yeah we will we will see that we get that most of the time we kind of even need that or at least it will make our lives easier and we will be very careful uh, with our decisions here as well less is more in that case tribute other kingdoms pay tribute as a sign of their submission get tribute from other factions to gain bonuses um, there is a couple of attributes which it's basically also just points you could think of it uh, just like another way of warfare but um, yeah with other um, with other stuff uh, which gives you points or uh, minus points uh, our guys are immune to seasickness and high sea attrition this is a really a nice one actually I'm um, well, having played the Gallic Kingdoms, this is a really nice one. So that you just don't have to care about the stupid uh, path uh, pathfinding from the um, yeah from the AI. Basically, if you I don't know, click from here to there, uh, you just go somewhere. And if you if you are uh, basically a non seafaring nation or faction, then you have to go along the coast. This has been patched as well. So the uh, the area where you have attrition um, or the attrition free area um, from the coast into the sea has been broadened up i kind of feel anyway um faction features sudorea field of assembly an assembly of free men and lawmakers who meet to decide the matters of the day it sends the armies on missions to keep them busy um it's basically just um random missions um not that random actually sometimes they do make a little bit of sense uh, it's not just like the the usual stuff i don't know if you're a certain you shall take the stone of destiny <laughs> in wareham or something stupid like this this makes a little bit more sense in terms of you're at war with a faction and then they say i don't know um raid in that region here you get thousand coins if you do so um that's quite nice a uh, little little bit of extra um, we will see if we can do we do it if not well we just ignore it there's no Mali uh, if we don't do it plus five supplies in foreign territory all armies it's not a bad thing uh, even though you get minus 20 supply uh, if you are in for foreign soul soil and thus the five doesn't do much actually I mean it does a bit but not much if you're low on supplies this won't rescue you 
Um, in general, very strong axe and sword infantry, has access to berserkers and nausea units, good unit diversity. <coughs> I do think this is to say about every faction, but well, we will see. We don't give a shit about victory conditions, um, we play on legendary, and yeah, I do think that has been it, yeah. Um, so the biggest, well, it's, I guess, yeah, well, the biggest change is um, it gets a little bit more difficult in terms of uh, we will get loyalty problems. And this is also due to patch, um, and that makes a little bit, uh, changes a little bit. Uh, we will go into that after the um, introduction here. Then do the introduction. The great army may have terrorized England, but we have preyed on these isles for decades. The sea is in our blood. From our island homes we set out for glory and plunder. But we don't just want to raid and pillage. We want to create a mighty kingdom. A strong king can lead us to glory, so we can build our legacy. By sea, no throne is beyond our reach. In time, all these lands will be ours. The Western Isles are your fiefdom, but you deserve more. Your people are sea raiders and fighters with the drive to take on the world. Strengthen your hold on the Isles, and be ready to take advantage of the instability in the South. While the Southerners squabble, you can become the true power in Britannia. One of your armies is stationed at your capital, ready to defend it. Your other army is well placed to combat the rebels to the east. Crush this local threat to secure your holdings. We will do that. Okay. So, um, let's have a look here. I'm not sure if he's really, well, difficulty, minus one loyalty. Um, so this is, this is a problem. This is not really a problem uh, with our air, but it will be a problem with, um, with all the other ones. Um, with all of these guys because they end up at three and we will have very often just like events i don't know cormac gizli and finn Bogi just i don't know want to fuck up the the king and thus they gain loyalty and uh, or we lose influence they have more they lose uh, loyalty and so on so this is a this is a real this is a real problem the main thing we're gonna do about that is basically um the first couple of um of uh, ranking up with these guys gonna get a new rank uh, we will have to spend it in priests uh, which on the other hand means that we make less money uh, the buildings getting not cheaper um, so if they say a slow start it's a really slow start uh, we will have a terrible economy and yeah we will see how it turns out in the end um, nice is uh, at the start is uh, we have Gizli. Uh, Gizli is a preacher and he is in a province, uh, governor, where we start out with a monastery. This is quite nice. Um, basically, um, the same goes for Cormac. Um, yeah, so he has uh, he is Im impassioned, and we kind of need the uh, extra. Um, the extra character public order on him because we start out with uh, basically two mines a salt mine and a lead vein um, so yeah this turns out to be fine anyway uh, the old trick uh, where we can go into the settlement recruit a couple of your guys and then uh, attack the rebel army won't work here so uh, my say we're gonna do this first Thank <laughs> you. 
So, um, yeah, we start out with two archers, and in general, we will have a lot more archers, uh, I kind of found. And since our um, land is more or less pretty barren, um, we will go for the cheapest of the guys. Um, so basically, these guys are the levies, basically. The, le the axes will be our friends, and uh, the spears will be our friends. At a certain point, the spears don't do it anymore, but it, if everything is good, we can transition then. Uh, dry, let's fight. Um, well, that is pretty obvious. I'm gonna attack from here. Uh, well, let's make a little line. Uh, you, you, you behind our archers. And we keep the spear a little bit behind because um, their general is a horse as well. Their general is a horse. <laughs> I like that. First, they wanted to win for a dog, but then they said horses are stronger than dogs. There they are. They have another horse here. But yeah, just one archer. It might be all fine and dandy. I'm going to try to uh, make place here. This seems to be a good one. Can move a little bit slower by the way no need to be uh, tired when the battle starts okay um, stop running away uh, free yourself you guys gonna move just a little bit up and you too will do the same. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we'll just work on these archers here for a bit. And I guess they will start to come at us um, as soon as we gonna start to pepper their archers. Follow up. Not even. Um, give these guys a shot and you start to work on him. So I have to go back because these Pila are not to be joked with. Just have to make sure that we still can hit the archers. Everything else doesn't really matter that much. Our general is under attack! We are kind of fine in uh, in shield wall. This is uh, quite okay. That is so cool. Sixty-two. Uh, we won't catch them all. They have, uh, we have no horses to um, kill the running away guys. So yeah, I guess we will be uh, do it in two times. Is he still firing? Yeah. Well, I want to see it. I want to see it.
They flee before our might. Horses next. So once the spears are in, we're gonna bring these guys out again to help here, but kinda seems fine. Spearmen follow them horses. These guys are on the run. Attack here, attack here. Shoot them horses. Yeah. Just eat him up. Well, that's not good. Killed the uh, general yet. This is kind of fine, but just <laughs> as long the general is not. No, nah, he's not. Sweet. Go ahead. You do that. Fine. Do that. And you guys make these guys disappear. Well, those spears had done a good job. Well, let's try to kill as many as possible, even though we won't succeed completely, I'm pretty sure about that. I didn't fail, huh? No, I don't think so. That's not bad, don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, will the archers survive? Yeah, I don't know why they do this. This is also a post-patch surprise. They just like in Warhammer 2, they stop. Uh, they stop doing the. Um, you order them, and they just stop. Look at that. I mean, you know. Even if they are not tired, but in this case they are tired. But this is no reason to stop. You know, these guys might be exhausted. It's really, it's really, uh, yeah. Something I really hate from all my heart, and it it didn't happen uh, pre-patch, so it's really a little bit disheartened. What has happened as well is um, you can toggle now uh, here uh, hide foliage and uh, then look at the but you have to press space it's not like uh, you go through and it disappears like in Warhammer 2 but you can uh, hide it at least so you have to more or less um, keep uh, keep pushing space six might be fine Let's just give him another go four is in every case good let's end that okay yeah this is highly annoying i don't know why this is happening because it's so important to kill these guys you know especially in this game where the uh where the no garrisons are in there's a new mod by dresden and dresden is a fantastic modder um, and he has put uh, garrisons into the uh, small ones into the small uh, settlements and I kind of want to try it I haven't tried it yet but yeah so there we have it um, let's just do this so we have the usual warfare um, we have the tribute so and this is what what counts to towards is or gives uh, minus uh, diplomacy payments basically every time you get a payment from uh, any other faction doesn't matter if it's fear uh, you sell a girl or um, you're gonna get 300 bucks out of the payment for um, I don't know uh, for a declaration of friendship or they pay for peace something like this uh, occupation it's mostly minus as soon as you um, take land uh, occupation gets a minus I don't know why that actually is I have no clue but it ends up 
being okay so because you get plus for the battles uh, expeditions is uh, we will come to this um, there's also plus and minus kind of depends on how the expedition count, uh, goes um, then technology wise uh, events of course and cultural equilibrium but well uh, so here we have it. Uh, the expedition is 0 to 50. It fills up to 50. Uh, you get points for that via raids, via sacks, via blockades, via rank up characters, via technology and plus minus events. So yeah, um, that's basically it. Oh sweet, we killed all the horses. That's something. Okay, um, so and we will, uh, with this faction, raid a little bit more just for that, and we will sack a little bit more just for that. Very often we will just sack um, a settlement, and then we're going to take it, um, just to have the points in the expedition. Because of uh, all of our generals have minus uh, loyalty, um, well, minus one loyalty and uh, we have to we have to uh, work in that direction a little bit more and this is uh, for example it gives you i don't know more market money certain amount of percentage and let's say plus six public order for um 10 turns so this is quite nice because uh, our leader influence will suffer because all of our nobles are basically massive pricks Okay, uh, let's spend some money. Uh, I tend to um, do this one first, um, just because it's public order. I tend to um, push up the food as far as we can, but there is not much far as we can. That is basically it. I was experimenting doing this. Uh, just because of the nicer industry money uh, and we are about to get two more public order but this turns out not to be such a good idea um, simply because we cannot waste a single point um, of our governors into scribe or um, or into a bard we have to use the um, we have to use uh, most of it into loyalty. This turns out to be more or less, um, yeah, just like a cautions option. Option, um, but and and if these guys don't, um, yeah, actually being dicks, it turns out that we will end up with I don't know seven, eight, nine loyalty. Um, but uh, if it if if a single one of these guys become dicks, we will have civil wars without end. And this is a super vicious cycle. And we don't want to go into that. So we're just going to play it safe. Plus, um, and this is uh, on the other hand a good thing, uh, these guys have, no, Finn Bogey not, but Gizli has already tier 3 governance and Cormac has uh, 2. So yeah, we will see where we end up. Um, so I said we're gonna go for a little bit of um, the cheaper units. So the Eastman fighters will be our friends, the Eastman warband as well. And uh, we're gonna support ourselves with um, archers. So I'd say um, we might gonna get rid even of the X-Man, but we will see uh, the one our general has um, in his army. So let's take the 20, um, this is fine. As soon as we get uh, this army done, and this will be the next turn, I guess we can't reach him, yeah. Um, we will have uh, plus five uh, public order for five turns, and we will use this public order to um, do actually that. Could do it immediately, what kind of money we talking? It's 100 bucks more. No, let's not do that. It's fine. I mean, on the other hand, I'm kind of stuck with the old thinking, but yeah, actually we could just do that. Because this is one, this is just two. Um, we will be fine. Let's do it. And we need, yeah, more or less every little bit of money we can get. Question is, um, are we able? We have three of these. Let's get us a fourth one and another x-man yeah let's do it so here we are this is what we're gonna do attack 
So it's a little bit hard to decide what to do next uh, because a lot of things are happening. Um, we are military allies, we can go into the diplomatic uh, screen in a bit, um, but we are military allies uh, with Orgnea. Um, My abilities have been boosted. As one might expect. Uh, let's do that just. Um, but um, this is an auto. In your nuts, in your neck, and you're dead. Take that. Okay. Uh, so this is quite nice. Plus five to all regions. More favor goes up. Um, which actually means we are in the plus again and this is why we could do this already might even but oh, this is stupid let's not go too crazy i'm fine with that okay so yeah and this is a little bit of a problem um we don't really know um so i had uh, a game where we were more or less uh, we were asked if we want to join this war or if we want to join uh, a war between Galgoidal and uh, Orknea. The thing is, if we're going to help here, um, Orknea will just snatch all the good land. And this is highly annoying. You know, if you have a... Um, if you have a province and let's say the the money buildings and uh, the food buildings are snatched away you're basically just left with <laughs> with the uh, with the walled city which costs you in fact food and is not developed at all and uh, i don't know a mine which gives you uh, public order problems so this is uh, one option and the other option is um Ognea ends up at war with galgoidal i had three games so far and one time they ended up with Galgoidal, and two times they ended up with uh, war against Fortriu. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure. This one is way easier for us. So in general, if we uh, just let this happen and we don't interfere and we uh, cancel our military alliance uh, with uh, Ognea, and uh, then it might be a good idea to go plunder in Ireland immediately. Um, I, I don't know how that actually turns out because uh, I was planning this and then the war between Galgoidal and Orgnea happened. We were just here and uh, thus we took their land. So this was this was one thing and I wasn't planning on that but it turned out to be very good for us. Um, then we had a Bigger, a bigger base to help uh, in this war which broke out pretty soon after that but well um, nonetheless um, I do think we're gonna go in this direction again yeah um, that means you sir gonna go here um, you're just gonna fill up a little bit it's fine so, Gisli. So, this is the problem. We have to take, actually, Priest. Dang. Nothing uh, nothing else comes even close to anything else. For a, certain, uh, for a certain reason, it's absolutely unclear to me, but um, it's our king, he gets Quartermaster. Uh, for a certain reason, we, our king, loses influence so fast. Um, this is due to, A, the... Um, the uh, estates this has been changed also uh nope that's the wrong one here we go the estate which we haven't uh, uh by the way uh we have no estates at the moment um which is uh, which is due to this is all pretty more or less estateless land i wouldn't say barren because we have a more or less decent income and we have if we are uh, uh, upgrading our um, food sources we have a decent amount of food reserves as well but yeah it's it's overall it's it's pretty barren and barren of its states uh, estates as well so this is all gonna be a little bit of problem and actually if you look at it 
um, our king has six influence. There is not much what uh, what uh, needs to happen that these guys have equal or more um, influence than our leader, and thus their loyalty will drop down. So yeah, we have to we have to feed these guys as soon as they rank up. We're gonna give them uh, loyalty via priests. And this is a um, yeah. This is a little bit of a problem. So every estate actually has to be really, um, yeah, carefully distributed. Otherwise you will run into uh, loyalty problems pretty fucking fast. Um, can we give us more food somehow for a thousand? Um, no. So and this is also quite nice. I mean, this one is from Galgoidal. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and um, we will uh, we will just wait a little bit until he is into the water, which will be next turn. Um, he can fill up a little bit with that um, with that replenishment, and then we're gonna go. I guess we're gonna visit um, Connacht, or yeah, we will see what's offering uh, themselves there. And yeah, so if we are lucky, um, our ally will be at war with Galgoidal, but I kind of doubt it because it happened one time out of three times. So yeah, and it happened two times out of three times that they end up with the war with Fortrio and Cersei. And yeah, we have to be a little bit careful because these guys can be quite uh, quite nasty. All uh, together, that is. Um, they are making a, a decent force. Um, so we cannot spend any money except for army, which we are not really interested in. We could get another uh, X-Men though. And we're going to get rid of the uh, Eastman X-Men. Mm. Oh, we should take this one, but I do think it's a waste of money. You know what we will do? We will take that horse. It's expensive, but it will give us um, a horse. Is a nice thing. We want to kill uh, all the all the guys. Oh shit! I, then, then I fucked up. I have to do this, but it will be okay, I guess. Haven't watched the food. We could go for super high taxes for a couple of turns, but the thing is here as well, um, you get used to the amount of food you have, but you're not really aware that uh, you have a boost due to the uh, due to the taxes. So, and if you, yeah, I don't know, if you um, do it too much, let's, you know, I do think we have a little bit of time. Let's just have another turn of replenishment here. And this is fine. Let's go ahead there as well. Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Do that. So we will see where we end up. We're gonna go uh, into Yao, something like this, and uh, there they will meet, and then we have one bigger army which we can actually work with a little bit. Um. Nothing to do with 1500. No, we had that already. Go ahead. I'm really hoping for Galgoida. That makes things very much easier. But I kind of feel like, uh, yeah. We will have no luck. It was very surprising that these two have a war uh, overall. Success! If rewarded. Strathclyde Westerners, Radio Fort, okay, this is Ireland and this is uh, here. You might can, this is m maybe an option as well, we can plunder here a little bit if they are harvest. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, that's a long way to go, huh? And they are not really harvest, there's one more or less well defended, even though they are at war. Uh, it's Cormac. Cormac, it's a priest. Fuck you. Yeah, and it's really uh, it's a it's a deep valley if you <laughs> if you're gonna go uh, if you don't do that and you have civil war and stuff like that. 
it's really crazy. So we'll just keep the money um, and we will meet here and king as well. So quite nice from the expeditions, every now and then our king gets, um, uh, what is it called in this game, uh, trades and items, items uh, for example, and these are really cool. These are really, really, really fucking cool. I had uh, one item that was 100% movement. That's actually magic. <laughs> but well, it kind of worked. And it was a pretty, pretty damn helpful. Can't tell you that. But well, I had a. Uh, I was hoping to get it in another game as well. But yeah, no luck so far. I've seen it once and I kind of doubt um, that we will see it in this uh, this. Let's play. So yeah, slow start, uh, guys. Don't uh, raid the following region, Guvan. So this is one of the um, South of Britannia. Don't care. Warfare were decreased. Uh, really? Holy shit. Okay. Or we could do that by just standing, going land here. Is this still Guvan? Uh, no, it's not. Ooh, this is pretty specific, guys. No joke. Um, so, the, but this is one of the um, field of assembly. So very likely we won't do that because it's a super far away. And but yeah, this this uh, mission on the other hand will stand there for forever. So there is no haste in. Um, yeah, just we have to do it or something like this. There's no timer ticking down. Everything will be fine. So we have a little bit more food. Um, let's see what we can do with the meanwhile 2000. Um, I kind of feel like um, we're gonna do that also with the food. Yeah, what we could do on the other hand is when is this due? We start a granary here. Um, but I think it will be fine if we do that. We can't stop at any time. <coughs> any time. It's basically money in the bank. Uh, fishing village is finished. Go ahead. Two more turns. Do we get the granary together though? Um, what does the granary cost? Um, Nope, nope, don't oh, well, want here. Um, 1183. Um, two turns, yes. If we don't spend any money, it will be fine. But I guess we're gonna stop it immediately for this one. And um, we're just gonna build the granary when we can. And after that, uh, and and taking uh, the two more units out of here. Do you think this is a little bit better for us? Uh, we want to have this one. I would like to go for uh, these guys, but they are, I feel like, too expensive. So we're just going to do that. King is on its way. Let's go ahead. So father and son will uh, do a lot of things together here. Um, in this case, we you kind of need to have um, a second general. Basically, uh, do a little bit of raiding, do a little bit, you know. If you besiege, for example, a city, the sun can just stand next to that and raid for a turn, and then you get points for the expedition and stuff like that. So it's all a little bit more, um, yeah, you got to actually use all of the game tools a little bit more so and then that regret uh, um, the game has improved more or less but yeah you will see once the um, how long next turn okay uh, once the um, actual uh, the actual uh, attacks on the king the inner inner political uh, stuff starts uh, to kick in uh, it's not not that funny anymore but yeah we will see uh, we have we taken uh, a lot of a lot of stuff actually um, 
with the uh, if we give them priests immediately it might be just fine but we will see um, gonna go ahead gonna go ahead it's a slow start guys and this episode will be a little bit um, a little bit uh, longer I guess we'll see where we end up Yeah, in general, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the recording data, um, the files, are not as big as in Attila and by far not as big as in Warhammer 2. So in that regard, uh, regards, it's really, really nice. I kind of wonder why these guys don't go into war with each other, but yeah, I don't really care that much about it. So, give it to the king. Dang. So this has been nerfed a little bit as well. The king gets head usually um, plus 20, uh, minus 50 upkeep cost for all units. This has been nerfed to 25, but he has still his 25. This is also just like it was before. So it's kind of nice. When he gets king, he will get another wife as well. This is uh, loyalty and influence down. Nobody wants that. Um, she is renowned uh, commander governance, so this is quite nice actually. Okay. Um, what are we gonna do? Let's have a look at the diplomacy in general. So there's an army of our guys. We are allies with Ognea. Um, so usually this kicks off or this kicks off. I do hope for this kicks off because we could just take um, this one is part of our province. Uh, this, this, and I do think this is a province, or this, this, and this is a province. We'll have a look in in a bit, but yeah, in general. Um, so they have actually a part of our province, but um, this is a mine, so we are not too keen uh, about to get it because of the public order um, public order stuff. Are you at war with whom? Uh, with these guys, for example. We might just kill these guys. What are we thinking about that? Uh, I do think that's a good idea. What we kind of have to do is, you know what? Are these guys at war with someone? No. Sit. Want to have What's a declaration man? of friendship? It's sufficient. Are you willing to pay something for it? Nope, that's insulting. I'm fine with Makes that. Do that. Um, let's do the same with Diflin. You are welcome here. Let's uh, have declaration sufficient. Are you willing to pay? Insulting. Nope, they are not. But this is fine. Okay. Um, let us attack Eilek. So, unless this kicks off, um, I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we are minus food. This is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, why is that? Did we have a... Oh, this is a little bit unfortunate. Um, well, technologies are free. Uh, actually, let's just push in this direction. Uh, this is highly beneficial to get this early on. The research rate is, is quite a lot. And overall we want to have in every case uh, the scribes, just because we have a monastery we can pull in the scribes there. This is quite nice as well, the XP for generals, so that you can, if they rank up, you can make sure they stay loyal and uh, and or doing something useful. Um, the church money, well, doesn't really matter that much, but yeah. We are keen to get the public order one as well. It's not much, but it's something. And this is also, um, yeah, well, two public order in this tree, and this is quite nice. Uh, we are a little bit far away for something else anyway. I'm slightly concerned about that. Um, where the fuck is that suddenly? Mm -mm -mm. I don't like that at all. And we are not able to lower taxes as well because of the food. So and this is the, the, the main reason why we didn't went completely up. We would be just more, um, just more, uh, yeah, 
fucked up basically. So, um, but we have a good chance of rebellion already. Um, so we gotta do something. I say we're gonna go straight for uh, Ilark. Yeah, let's just do that. Go this way. And you... I'm even thinking we get rid of him to be uh, good in the... Um, how much public order is due to the starvation, more or less? Food is minus two. We are at, holy shit, minus eight here. This is so much, guys. This is so fucking much. Okay, we're gonna get rid of him. Don't mind, son, it will be fine. So we are... Now we are at minus nine. Okay, well, good. <laughs> Uh, well, we will see. If there's a rebellion, we just have to let it go. There's no way in dealing uh, uh, with that anyway. So, I said we're gonna have the granaries. Yes, we did. And maybe even at this point... No, it's not enough money. Well, this is kind of fine. Let's go ahead. Let's just hope for not a rebellion. And if there is a rebellion, we just lose something and we will get later to it. It will be highly costly and stuff like that, but yeah, we have to have to push through a little bit. This is... Uh, we have not much possibilities here. Faction destroyed. These guys don't want to war each other. Is this good or bad? I'm not sure yet. I really don't. Uh, where can we go on land? There. Can we go on land somewhere else? In Ulaid land and here. Mm. There's no attrition though. Uh, but we don't have much supplies. It is fine at the moment. Uh, but if we go on land, it's not fine anymore. And then we are on foreign soil and we would survive two turns. How long would we need to get there? More or less two turns. Um, but it's winter, so we might have a little bit less uh, movement points. I'd say uh, I'm going to try our luck. Yeah. The landing places are a little bit weird, actually. So, we'll see how we end up, guys. This might be a um, pretty hardcore play we're doing at the moment. Uh, minus three is kind of fine. Minus three is also kind of fine. We have the money, um, and the granary will be finished when? In three turns. This will take more turns, so we're gonna do that. We have enough food for uh, to to actually get something here, and um, this is also one public order if we uh, do that. So let's do that. Okay, minus three is okay. It's not not really good, you know. But well, we can we can deal with it, I guess. Um, okay, let's go ahead. So we have more or less uh, decided now. There's no going back. Kind of depends. If these guys gonna go for us, uh, we might just gonna lose this campaign immediately because they have made uh, way more, uh, the way more food, way more money, way more everything. And I kind of hope they are busy and we can just take that city. Okay, don't care. So, down to 28. Okay, I mean, this is not bad at all. Oh, wow, this is super little movement, man. Cool. We go ahead. 
Um, you know, this is the 20 and actually the hostile territory plus 5 uh, gives us a little bit more. So we will have, yeah, still, well, maybe just enough to lay siege and take it, but we will see. Um, anyway, um, is there anything we can build with 1100? I kind of doubt it. Yeah, no, nothing. But it's okay. Go ahead. This is really uh, gambling. If they are there to um, to defend their place, I do think we are done for. And I would love to have the sun with us, basically, just to stand there and raid a little bit. But yeah, this has to wait. Let's hope the city is, if we get them, uh, the city is developed enough that we can um, actually do something about this. So, Harkon. So, here we go. And this is a little bit ridiculous. Um, so, here we go. Difficulty uh, gives us minus one. He has only two, our 16-year-old son, and so he is not loyal anymore. This is just, you know, what what the fuck? Sometimes they, they um, turn out to have influence 10 when they start out. And this is something which really needs to be addressed. But yeah, here we go. Harkon is 16 and he is a prick. Um, on the other hand, if I kind of wonder if it's always the case, um, he is, yeah, he is a negotiator, thus he gets 10%. So he could be a new governor in, um, in Ireland if we can make something out of our more or less desperate run here. So uh, next turn we will start to have attrition. He, no, we will not. Uh, we will have another turn time really depends what they are doing where they at what they are yeah i do think they yeah they're laying siege on brevni here which would be pretty cool actually so we will ignore him and uh, there's not much we can do we can just pump money in him um but the thing is and uh, we can have a look at that uh, you can use secure loyalty but it costs you 1450 um and it, it uh, can go just fine so that he gets two loyalty and um, that's it or uh, we have to pay 500 on top of that and we cannot pay that and then it kind of yeah does half good half bad and thus we don't want to do it what we could try is uh, we're just gonna search um, for a lady for him he is next in line, thus uh, let's do this. And this is what I meant with uh, it's becoming a little bit tedious. There's, yeah, you know, now we have to go through, I don't know, 40 factions to search um, a lady. And this is really, wow. I mean, let's go for, um, wait, let's go for uh, those we are friends with first. No lady. We may both benefit from no this. lady. I hope you will pay my house. No lady. Okay. Then let's switch to attitude. Um Gargoyle. Lay out your proposition. No lady. Ognea we did. Ulaid we did. Sit. Have some air. No lady. Speak truly and full. No lady. <laughs> we will See what I mean? You. No lady. I will hear what you have to no say. No lady. You will get a fair hearing. Uh, she's arrogant. Um, minus governance, no. Plus zeal, minus influence is not as bad if it's not for the king. But yeah, uh, he has no no governance points already. Uh, gossip, minus loyalty, forget about it. I may be open to persuasion. Nothing. Break bread and seek a call. Peaceful. Um, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. 
Uh, let's ask. I don't think they will do it. It's insulting. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and see if we find someone with uh, up loyalty. That is actually what we really, really want. On the other hand, we had... Where were we? South... I will hear what you have to say. Yeah, okay. Let's just keep that in mind, that uh, there's a, there is now. actually a nice lady. We will talk now. Nothing. I will listen to your proposition. Nothing. I may be open to persuasion. I may be open to persuasion. I will listen to your propositions. I will listen to your proposition. You will get a fair hearing. I may be open to persuasion. Speak truly and fully. I... All right. Persuade. Sit. Have some ale. All right. Persuade. I will listen to your propositions. I may be open to persuasion. I hope you repay my hospitality. You will get a fair hearing. I will listen to your proposition. Nothing so far. I will hear what you have to say. Well, nothing is a little bit a lie. This is also quite nice, actually. Um, is it still? This is insulting as well. But well, let's keep in mind, Mias has a lovely lady. I hope you will pay my hospitality with fair words. She's noble minus loyalty plus so oh, that's quite nice for the uh this would be nice for our heir. But well. Speak truly and full. I will dun, 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 dun. You will get a fair hearing. Sit. Have some ale. See the problem, guys. You have my hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you do. I hope you repay my hospitality. But yeah, there's actually nothing else we can do. We cannot afford the uh, the other loyal way. Um, yeah. And this is just lucky. And we have to buy the ladies off as well. So. And might be strict. Oh wow, this would be cool. Um, it's insulting, but yeah, I'm a little bit okay. Well, let's have a look. Uh, also, rank and Sersen is last as well, but even if they okay. So, question is do we want to make him a super good governor? Uh, with the plus five public order, the one was pretty nice. But I do think uh, for the reason we want to have her, um, that we're gonna use uh, her. So this is insulting, but... So we can spend money on this. We will have a look. Could even maybe... Are they at war with Diflin? This is the main reason why they think it's bullshit. Yeah. Okay, well, then not. Um, the other one was Mears, but let's then ask uh, first in Thathsaxe. Peaceful, that would be nice actually. It's insulting, yes, but um, payments offer. Still insulting. Still insulting, intriguing, intriguing shit. Such it's not you. enough. Okay, um, Mias was the other option. Dang. Speak it's not as good, but we will see. We maybe can uh, up the chances by declaring friendship to West Saxa. They might be interested. Insulting. 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 Intriguing, but yeah. 
Okay, um... Speak truly I want to have declarations sufficient. Are you paying me for that? Intriguing. Okay, well, let's just do it this way. Done that. Um, so, back to you. We will break bread and seek a call. Becoming a little bit earlier intriguing. This would be sufficient. Um, this is super nice. Plus five husband when governing, and he will be a governor, and governance plus one as well. This won't help us at all with the um, with the uh, actual uh, loyalty problem. But I do think it's a really nice to have. And 1,600 is not as bad. It might go up when uh, we're getting... Oh, it's improving now, but just by one. It's not much at all. Um, are we going to do that? I say yes. We ascend. Okay, let's have a look. Go ahead. So we have to do the sneaky way here. You know what that means. But it's uh, overall a pretty, um, pretty rough game we're gonna play here. So what we need is um, we need to have the city, and we need to pull out uh, our son so that he can take this one. Because I do think Ulaid will actually take action as soon as we take action. So we will see. My skills are growing. Um, are we gonna do that now? Let's say so. Who got what? Gizli. Um, I do fear we have to do this once again. Yes, let's do it. Uh, Harkon, this is, yep, next turn we are empty, true. But this turn we will attack. Thus, um, you are at war with Diflin and, and Ulaid. Oh, this is bad. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, who has more money? I hope you will pay my hospitality. Uh, join war against Eilek. Sufficient payment. 2,000. It's not really much. But 300 is a minimum, dude. Um, Diflin. We may both benefit from this meeting. Uh, but -dum, ba dum Here we go. Sufficient not much more money and it's insulting also just intriguing they won't do it now i'd say um let's do it with ulaid even though um we might gonna regret that just because of they will take actions makes sense to me Okay, done that. Gonna lay siege. So we, I do hope we have enough to at least build two siege towers. Yes, we are. On and this one, that's fine. This is just a disguise, though. Um, okay, we will run out of supplies next turn. But if everything is good, we have it next turn. We are at minus three here, and we are at minus three here. A granary is finished, thus we have 44. Um, let's have a look into what we will maybe conquer here. Um, well, it's the Tithal. It's 15 food. It will at least carry itself. That means we could get um, three more units and a general. This is good news. Okay. Um, are we good so far? I do think we are. Let's go ahead. I kind of am very pleased that it doesn't kick off at the uh, in the north. Uh, it's really strange, actually. I haven't seen this uh, at all. So, yeah, completely uncharted waters here. I like it. 
I don't know if we can, yeah, do the shenanigans with uh, just uh, our usual uh, cast here. Oh, they're coming out. Wow. Look at these guys. So, uh, that is highly interesting. I do think these are all already tier 2. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Oh, this is our chance, man. I have new land on the green island. Take it. Take it. Uh, this looks a little bit. These guys are pretty good already. Uh, we have basically this one guy and our general to stance against that. And our archers have, a, have to do good work as well. And we have to, uh, yeah, our horse has to do good work as well and yeah fuck it's already tier two holy shit this is wow this is not nice at all they might just slaughter us <laughs> um well, let's go up here they're coming to towards us thus let's search a location where it's actually worth to stand ah, that's fine here yeah, on the open field as well. We're gonna move from here to here and then let them come. Okay, guys. Um, gonna build a decent line so that these guys can fall back. And all of you will react where you have to react. A little bit further behind and you go into the middle. You go to the side and general here. Um, horse can stay hidden. Group it. And start the battle. <sighs> wow. Didn't realize that they would come out, actually. Well, it's better this way. I do feel. Because in the, all in the shenanigans feels like shenanigans. Even though, you know... If you're gonna attack, I don't know, a city with the uh, which is strong enough, more or less, to um, yeah, which is the same size, and then you do the shenanigans, this kind of feels okay. If you have a monster army and only these guys defend the city, it's also actually, it's, I do in the end, I do think it's pretty legit to do the shenanigans. It's a little bit boring because you mostly do the same. I kind of fear the Fianna band, actually. And the tier 2 spearmen, so fucking early on. This is madness. Javelin, Javelin, Archers. That's fine. Stop running away. And I do think we have to go for the archers first. Yeah, the Fianna band uh, and the tier 2 guys. This is uh, really a bit scary. This fucking scary, man. Javelins can do their work. That music, though, eh? Sweet, man. Okay, every dead javelin man is a good javelin man. So that's the main reason why we have four fucking archers.
General is under attack. Then he goes and has some fun, but I want him to attack the Fia band. Fianna band. Better is. Go in. You're gonna kill these guys. Nope. Split up. You need to go in. Sweet. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if we still, um, you know, just because it looks like that, it doesn't mean they have suddenly worse units. <laughs> well, it should be fine, actually. Uh, keep killing. This is dead. Uh, it looks fine. Further around. Further around. Yeah, that should work out fine. So I want you to shoot in on the X-Man. And you... The both Fianna band are there. That's not good. Let's shoot at them. I'm not sure if this was a... That's not... Perfect. Let's go a little bit further around. Uh, four. Why did you stop there, dude? Oh my god. going back again because they have been lured out gonna attack he will move away from there shoot on the spears you shoot at the uh, Fianna band give him a boost and in again You're not fighting, fight. You're not fighting, fight. Dude. Uh, Fianna Ben, shoot. Yeah, that's fine actually. They are gone. Should have these guys. Enough to kill the running away. Um, you follow here. You. No, you follow here. General will help with the general. That's it. Sweet! Thank you for coming out and play. Uh, what are we talking to? Let them run. Kill these guys. You keep shooting on them. Don't do as you like, do as I say. All of you kill these guys. Done that. Let it do uh, the archers. That's fine. Let it do the archers. Well, in that case, you do this. And the archers can swing a bit. Done. Noise. I like it. Why? Why, dude? Is there? Well, kind of want to see something. Um, options. Uh, game settings. Default guard mode is not activated. 
default run, default skirmish. Yeah, no, there's no reason why they shouldn't, um, why they shouldn't uh, just you know follow these guys and kill these guys. Uh, they have patched it in. <laughs> well done, well done. I kind of wonder if it has something to do with foliage, with the hidden foliage. Uh, it could really be somehow. Don't ask me how, but it could be. Because we have seen this, uh, the, the feature of the uh, uh, hide foliage, fo foliage, or whatever the word is, uh, is implemented in Warhammer 2. Um, and there we have the same thing. If you if you order them to charge or, or just run down and fleeing enemy, they suddenly stop for unknown reasons and um, pre-patch we didn't have the uh, height foliage and uh, now we have it and there we go we have also the stop so I'm, I'm not sure it doesn't make really sense but yeah it might be the case so we're gonna take that money guys we're gonna sack it and then uh, we're gonna take it I do hope we can take it and they have no um, no new um, no new garrison, I doubt it. I wasn't aware that... Um... Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, occupy. So, and we have gained quite a bit of uh, expedition points through that. Uh, the sack is pl uh, plus five. This is quite nice. So, here we are. We just leave that be. And we're gonna start with a patrol immediately. So this would be 10 food. Um, we're gonna get, I mean, no, we're gonna get Harkon in there, Ketil it is, Ketil is our son, he needs to have a little bit of uh, experience, so you stay there, uh, how much weight, um, so, uh, gonna do diplomacy, no, governors, yes, here we go. Uh, Hakon. Don't make me sad, dude. Don't make me fucking sad. You're gonna get your estate as soon as possible. So, ah, fuck, they took it. Ah, I could vomit, man. I might just take these guys out as well. Fuck him. Anyway, what do we have? Uh, this is an estate and this is pure market money. That's still quite nice. Um, we have to go forth, though. And we have uh, one turn of um, supply loss, but it will be fine. Makes me wonder if we even go for more army, but I do think we do. Is this all we have? We get a little bit more if we would repair this, but this would make no sense. Um, but we have 28 at the moment. Um, I kind of feel like uh, it is fine if we're gonna go this will add up to 15, thus we are over 30. 10 for the patrol. Uh, is this less food at the moment as well? Uh, yes, it is. Ah, risky, risky. Mm. Nonetheless, I do feel we need them. You know what? Let's do it this way. And we're gonna get rid of the Eastern X. Do that, yes. We could just merge as well, huh? Because mm -mm -mm. this is the only, next to our general, the only good X we actually uh, have. I feel like we're gonna do it like that. Yeah. So, Harkon is still pissed, but we leave it be, I guess. Um, I wonder... Let's just influence down. Um, nope, okay. I'm gonna go ahead. We got ourselves a nice little city, guys. A foothold in uh, Ireland. I like it. And it's the first time I play this game, or, or uh, Sudrea, like that. And yeah, I'm kind of snoopy where we end up. 
I do feel like uh, we're gonna end up killing Ulaid after that, and when then we're gonna split um, Ireland between us and the Dufflin guys. And well, that's just a guess. Yeah, we're gonna take out uh, Srata because uh, Ulaid is already on the way. Fuck these guys, man. So, here we go. Uh, Kingdom of Diflin. Ignore them. Plus 25 for Expedition, but minus influence for Eirik. Um, this is Conquer Them, set an alliance. We might do an alliance. I mean, I'm not entirely sure. They doesn't. They don't seem to do that good, actually. Um... I don't want to have the minus influence for Eirik, actually, but an early on uh, expedition could be beneficial as well. Because we are already pretty low on public order, and we don't dare to lower the taxes. I say... Um, I say we're gonna set an alliance. Influence 4, plus 5 Tribune, yeah well. As a rise south of Britannia, south of Britannia, don't care at all. Uh, we're just gonna... Do we see any other army yet? No. So we're just gonna take that. We will. Um... I say we're gonna do it. Oh. oh yeah, fine. Occupy. Tribute just goes down, but this is fine actually. Uh, up to 20. So you will fill up a little bit, I think. Did they actually manage to? Yes, they did. Okay, that's quite cool. Um, or you have to stay there just for the sake of... Um, so 32, let's just have a look. Um, this is going to be 15. Thus we have one more until this is repaired. And this is repaired. Um, thus we're going to get us one more if possible. It's not. Let's get us another archer. Why not? We like them archers. Go ahead. Uh, loyalty. You know what, son? Um, we have seven, five, six. Okay. I'm not sure if we get penalties if we have the same amount, but we gave him a lot of loyalty as well. And the next one will go into loyalty also. Thus, uh, we're gonna give Harkon our one estate if it's even giveable when it's burned down. It is. Okay. Go ahead, son. This is for you. You're the governor there. So take it. Well, two is not much, but we will see. Um, Supply is going to be a little bit better, I feel. Uh, spoils of war, yeah, and uh, plus 14. Um, thus we are at 17 next turn. Uh, but -dum -but -dum. I would love to use Katie a little bit, but there's not much we can do at the moment, so we'll leave it be. And we have to push on here as well because, yeah, Ulai digs are on the way. Wanna have our spoils. Um, can you go into the water? No, fill up your supplies first and then we will see. Loyalty Harkon, supplies we know, building needs repair, building needs repair. Those are the two buildings in here. A three even, don't care. Uh, risk of rebellion, that's this one, but yeah. On Harkon working on that. Um, I say we're good and we're gonna go ahead and this will be our first episode guys, yeah. Um, well, they said slow start, I say slow start, but uh, this is gonna go in a very interesting way. I'm really interested how that plays out. We might even <laughs> just settle over to uh, to Ireland if the, in the north uh, something goes completely away. I like that thought, actually. 
So if everything is good, I'm not sure if they dare to move into our land. I, I think they do, but we will say media is gone. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look. Who got something? Uh, Cormac. Um, we are at four. We give him a fifth one. And then we can start to build up his governance uh, skills. These are things we have to do. Otherwise, we're going to get in trouble. Um, this is nice. That means only minus four. Oh, wow. Minus four is so, so, so much. Um, this would be that, this would be that. Um, holy shit. Characters gives us plus seven, but we are in a such bad state. Question is if we can do that um, food-wise. We are in the minus already. I feel like we can't do that. Uh, but this is... We are at minus four only because the food is the problem. Uh, why is that a problem at all? I think he will just run away. Where would we go if we're gonna go here? Um... Yeah, I fear we have to do it. Let's do it thus. We might can go near to them. Not even slightly. Shit. But well, we will see. He could, but we are not able to. Well, you actually are. Ah, fuck. He has to go away, doesn't he? Um, could just live with one and we're just gonna repair this. Uh, this would be enough food to be in the plus again, yes, but it won't help us this turn. And minus five and minus four is quite a bit. Let's do it. Annoying. Okay. Well, we will see. We'll repair on this. We can't get him back next turn, so it's not really the the biggest problem. Go ahead. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, we said last turn. Eh? Well, this is uh, the first one. It's kind of fine. <laughs> I'm really keen to play this, guys. Connard is uh, such a such a rich uh, province. Uh, it has a lot of. Um... Oh, fuck you, man. Super annoying. And they will create a rebellion if they're gonna proceed. And it's very likely that we can't reach him. And if yes, they are able to run away again. Um, let's go ahead and take it. Um, sacking. Yeah, let's do it. I want to have, I uh, want to go uh, and get the first, get the first one. Uh, occupy. 28. Um, sweet. Okay. So this is one thing. Um, let's... Get us Ketil out again. Oh, look at that! A new, uh, new governor incoming. Um, let's get us Ketil out again. But here, with uh, this guy, maybe. You know what? I say yes. No. Okay. Uh, with little money. General, please do quartermaster. Go further. 
Harkon is still pissed, but this is fine. It's only at two, and he will gain uh, a priest pretty soon as well because he's starting to be a governor in general. Uh, food is super low, but it's kind of fine. We are at one, two, and well, minus nine. I expect actually to have a rebellion here, but well, we will see how that turns out. And I kind of want to see what these guys are doing. Um, maybe we can create roughly a second stack. I don't know for sure. Um, this is this and Bravney, okay. Media is gone. I'd say we're gonna try that, even though it will give us a little bit more problems with the food. But yeah, these guys might can go away again. Guys, uh, yeah, this is a nice, uh, nice, interesting little uh, start here. I really do wonder why there is no real war. Uh, it kind of seems like Cersei has de uh, decided to go against North Leod. This is kind of interesting. Uh, Thrathclad is still fighting the Westerners, which is weird, actually. Uh, and this is all pretty peaceful. Um, yeah, I have no clue what's happening here, but I kind of like it. Uh, guys, uh, yeah, wherever you are, do have a nice one. This is what I say. I'll see you on the next episode. I hope you like it. Um, yeah, goodbye.